Okay, so Tesla Powerwall 2, should you buy one? How do they work? What are the specs and how much do they cost? Well, in this review, we're gonna cover both the Tesla Powerwall 2, but also the gateway that can take your home off grid. So this is an actual Powerwall 2, but what is a Tesla Powerwall 2? Well, it's an AC coupled battery. And what that means is it's a battery that stores energy in DC in its cells, and it has an inverter built into it that can convert that stored DC energy to AC energy so you can use it in your home. Now it's got a rated capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours. So when you see capacities of batteries or kilowatts, kilowatt hours, what does it all mean? Well, kilowatt hours is generally storage. So if this was 10 kilowatt hours, then if you pulled one kilowatt for 10 hours, that's how long the battery would last. When you see kilowatts without the hours on the end, that's usually referring to the charge and discharge rate of the inverter. Because obviously you could have a load of storage, you could have like 200 kilowatt hours. But if your inverter is rated at one kilowatt, it means you can only ever access one kilowatt at a time. So what Tesla have done is they've paired 13.5 kilowatt hours with a five kilowatt inverter to charge and discharge. But this inverter also has a little secret function, which is it's overboost. And what that means is it can spike up to 7.2 kilowatts if you get a high load. So if you've got like a, an induction hob or maybe you've got the kettle on, someone's turned the oven on and you get that surge of energy, your battery, your Tesla Powerwall 2 can overload and cope with that extra demand for about 20 seconds. So it's a super useful feature when you're trying to keep all of your home's consumption within the envelope of the power of the battery. So just to expand on that capacity, when we're talking about expansion, how many Tesla Powerwall 2s can you have together? Because obviously over time, if the demand in your property increases or just from the outset, you're a really high user of energy, even light commercial, you might need more than one Tesla Powerwall 2. Well, you can have up to 10 Tesla Powerwalls per phase. And what's super cool about the Tesla products is not only do you double the storage capacity in kilowatt hours every time you add an additional Tesla your inverter rating doubles every time so if you had the maximum of the 10 Powerwall 2s then you could have up to 50 kilowatts of charge and discharge and that's probably not relevant if you're a domestic user but if you're a small business or a commercial outlet and you're looking to install battery storage then the Tesla Powerwall 2 becomes a really flexible option. Now, as we said at the start of the video, this is an AC coupled solution, but there are other different battery types on the market. And if you subscribe to the Heatable channel, you'll be able to see comparisons between DC stored batteries and AC batteries, and that should help you find the right one for your home. So when would you install an AC coupled battery? Well, you would install this if you didn't have solar and you just wanted to use it as a device to charge up on off-peak, super cheap energy to power your home throughout the day, or if you've got an existing solar system that doesn't have battery storage and you've maybe got the feed-in tariff and you don't want to affect the inverter, you are allowed by Ofgem, it's in the guidelines, to install an AC coupled battery. So if you're exporting loads of that energy to the grid and you want to capture it, store it and use it later on, then you can install an AC coupled battery solution. Now, if you're looking to buy a Tesla Powerwall 2 and you want to have it installed by a registered and Tesla approved installer, then you can head over to heatable.co.uk and we'll be able to give you a fixed price to have one of these installed in your home, whether you have solar or not. Talking about installation, how difficult are they to install? Well, as it's an all-in-one unit, i.e. the inverter and the DC cells are enclosed in one envelope, they're pretty straightforward to install. Where the installation gets a little bit more complex is every Powerwall 2 needs to have one of these. This is the gateway. The gateway really is the brains of the operation, but it also takes a Powerwall 2, it gives it the power to take your home off 
grid. So inside this gateway are two things. One of them are connections from the grid, so the power comes under the road or it comes over overhead lines or wherever, drops into your property. This device intercepts that whole process, so the live and the neutral go into the gateway before they hit your fuse board. There's a little link between and then they come back out and they go into your fuse board. Now in a grid event, i.e. the grid drops for whatever reason, instantaneously this bit of equipment will switch your grid connection to your battery connection and disconnect you from the grid. And that will power your home until the grid is restored or until you've got enough power left in your battery. And it's something to bear in mind if you live in an area where you have frequent grid events and you're buying a Tesla Powerwall 2 to make sure that your home is powered in those scenarios, then you're going to want to set a minimum reserve in the battery that isn't accessed unless we end up in that grid event. What's pretty cool on the Tesla system as well, there's a bit of a party trick where if you've got people around and you want to show them how cool your Tesla Powerwall 2 is, you can press a button and go into off-grid mode. You won't notice anything, it'll just show you on the app, but customers seem to love it. When you're installing the gateway, obviously when you're going to disconnect from the grid, not only are you going to lose the live and the neutral, but you're also going to lose the earth. So when you install the gateway, you need to put an earth rod into the ground because you've had a fault in the property. It's got a route to earth to discharge that current. So the battery side of the installation is pretty straightforward. You need two people because they're like 125 kilogram. They weigh a ton and you can't do it on your own. Well, not a ton, they're 125 kilogram. But when you're doing the gateway, they're pretty difficult because you need to be super competent, you need to be Tesla trained, and you need to know how to set these systems up, and that is the labor intensive part. Thankfully, if you're gonna extend your Powerwall 2 later on, you wanna add additional modules on, it's not a super expensive process. Like I said, you're gonna pay for two people, you need to lift it and move it around. There's an extension kit that you can buy as part of the product at an additional expense, and you're talking about four hours to wire one in. We would expect a competent trade engineer to install one of these with the gateway in about one day maybe a day and a half if they run into any problems with your property I mentioned before about charging your battery up from the grid. This is getting super popular. So if you're someone who can't have solar or maybe solar's out of your budget or you wanna do your project in stages, a good place to start is with an AC coupled battery. Now the rated capacity of a Tesla Powerwall 2 is 13.5 kilowatt hours. And if you can charge it once in a 24 hour period with cheap energy, that's gonna give you an annual capacity of just under 5,000 kilowatt hours. So in your home, if you use less than 5,000 kilowatt hours, then one Tesla Powerwall 2 will enable you to once a day charge up at night, nice cheap energy, store it in those DC cells, and as your home uses it throughout the day, it'll sort of power the property and use that cheap energy. It's called time shifting or load shifting. Now generally, these off-peak tariffs, depending where you live, can be anything for about a third of the price of the full normal rate. And there's an additional benefit as well, which is you can discharge your battery to the grid. So so why everyone else who hasn't got these batteries, some call like four, five, six, seven o'clock at night when everyone's in making tea, the grid's under loads of pressure. Energy companies at this time will buy that energy and your Tesla can shove 5,000 watts at a time to the grid and you'll get paid whatever they're paying. Sometimes it can be up to like a pound a kilowatt hour. So some people are gaming this and making a lot of money and cutting the payback period on one of these down sort of two two or three years. So talking about return on investment, obviously you want your prized asset to be protected by a decent warranty. Well, with Tesla, you're gonna get a 10 year parts and labor warranty with their product. What's also great to know is that Tesla's aftercare is five stars. So as an installer, it's great for us because if we have any problems, we've got a UK support line and they'll send one of their engineers to come repair that battery. 
Okay, and finally, price. Now, this is very subjective depending who you use. Now, to get a fixed price to have one installed, you can go to heatable.co.uk. Whether you're having it to charge up on cheap energy or you want to attach it to a solar system, we will give you a fixed price. Tesla approved installers are very experienced engineers and they charge for their skill sets. Now, on the heatable site, you'd expect to pay anywhere between around seven to eight thousand to have one of these products installed, but that is with the gateway. If you're looking to expand one later on, you're gonna be looking around sort of six thousand pounds, something like that. The bulk of that cost is the unit. So these units cost about sort of seven thousand pounds just to buy with the gateway. It starts getting expensive beyond that. Now, if you're using other installers, obviously their prices are their prices, but we have seen people paying sort of like £13,000 to have one of these installed. That's a bit expensive, especially if you're still going to use a Tesla improved installer, you want to make sure you're getting the best deal you possibly can. So we hope that was a useful video. Now, if you like this sort of video, if you're in the market for solar or you're just sort of curious about battery technology, solar PV, then do subscribe to the Heatable channel. Obviously, if you're looking to buy one, head over to Heatable. Or maybe if you're looking for alternatives, why not consider the Give Energy all-in-one? So since we filmed that video, Tesla actually announced they were going to bring forward the launch of this product's replacement, the Tesla Powerwall 3. Now, while that's relevant for this video is if you have an existing Tesla Powerwall 2 or you want a 2, then you can only replace or expand your system with a Powerwall 2. You can't mix it with a 3. If you're interested in the Powerwall 3, then we're going to have a full video review of that coming to the channel, plus lots of other great battery and solar content.